The nice to meet you is in orange. That's 0-3. Tannehill's in the white. Making the short drive north for a non-league date with 1-1 one one Villa Park. Early on, Villa Park strikes first. Anthony Navarro, the dart to Christian Williams at the goal line. Hey, Christian, there's something on your back. Oh, yeah, it's a Dana Hills defender. Christian loses his lid, but not the ball, and it's seven-zip home team on the four-yard strike. Second quarter, Villa Park in the red zone again, and they add to their lead here. Ramon Chavez has his eye on the goal line, and he gets across rather easily from the nine. Ramon also carries across the two-point conversion, so it's 15-zip Villa Park and 15-3 at the break. Same score, fourth quarter. Villa Park puts it away here with a simple give to Chavez. Ramon from his own 25 makes a few defenders think they have a chance at him, but ultimately Chavez just kicks it into overdrive and beats every white shirt to the far pylon. It's a 75-yard lightning bolt, 22-3 Villa Park with 10 minutes left in the ball game. Here's one ray of sunshine for the visitors. Connor McLeod bends around end and has some separation from the blue shirts. McLeod busts down the far sidelines on a 56-yard scoring run for Dana Hills. This changes the score, but not the result. Villa Park is 2-1 after a 25-10 win. Dana Hills is struggling at 0-4. Their momentum, Dana Hills had a good momentum coming in. They never gave up on any plays. They went hard the whole four quarters. But our, our team just stepped it up better, gave 110%. We just still came with the W. We just got to, because our, our goal is game 14. This is this is not game 14 mentality. Our, our This is the win, just a win. It's not game 14 win. We have to get everybody, sidelines, crowd, everyone in our team. We're going to get everybody going 100%, everybody loud, every, everybody on the field going 110%. No plays off, just to work hard. In Orange, I'm Jake Downey reporting for Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps.